Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phonebench and today we are benchmarking the Carbon Titanium S1 Plus. It comes with a quad-core Snapdragon 200 processor just like the Iris 406Q. You can see the model number up top, it's a Titanium S1 Plus. Running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean with a 480 by 800 pixels WVGA 4 inch display. Coming to system, you can see that we have a quad-core processor clocked at 1.2 GHz and the Adreno 302 GPU that powers the graphics. It says 305 because the board is compatible with that. You have 1024 MB or the entire 1 GB available to the system and 1.1 GB of internal storage. You have a 5 megapixel primary camera with a flash and you also have a 0.3 MP or VGA front facing camera. Coming to battery, you have a 1500 mAh battery while the Iris 406 q has a 1700 mAh battery. And then you can see the proximity sensor, light sensor, as well as spectrometer, all are working fine. Now let's start with the benchmarks. First, we are going to run the Antutu benchmark. We have fast forwarded all the benchmarks to get to the results quickly. The scores have now loaded up. Let's have a look. So we got a score of 16582, which is a really very good score. And it's actually higher than the Lava Iris 406Q and comparable to the likes of even the Moto G. Now we are running the quadrant benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here as well. It's been fast forwarded. Now let's submit the score to get a comparison chart going. So we got a score of 8306, which is again a really good score and even higher than the Iris 406Q and closer to the Moto G. Now we are running the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It will test the graphics prowess and give us an FPS score. So we got 54.5 FPS which is a bit lower than the iris 406q nevertheless it's an excellent score high-end gaming would be possible now we are running the html5 chapter of lmo it will test the sun spider javascript test as well as v8 benchmark suit and give us a score so you got a score of 2004 which is a bit lower than the iris 406q but definitely in the same realm and one of the highest scores that we have got in this segment even beating the moto g running android 4.3 now we are running the middle chapter of velamo it will specifically test the processing capabilities and we got a score of 474 which is just a bit higher than the iris 406q and actually it's equal to the xperia even which also features a snapdragon 200 but a dual core processor now we are running the linpack single thread test we got a score of 86 again a very high score higher than the iris 406q now we are running the multi-thread test we got a score of 242 which is again really a very high score higher than even the moto g now we are doing the multi-touch test. I have four fingers, but only two are detected. So it's a two-point multi-touch display. Well, folks, the Titanium S1 Plus is an exact replica of the Lava Iris 406Q. It even has a front-facing speaker. The specs are absolutely same apart from the battery. Even in general performance, it does not falter. And I really like the design of this phone over the Iris 406Q. The display seems much better than the iris 406q so this phone might be a better alternative but we'll definitely be checking that out till then you can watch its unboxing from right here as well as the unboxing and benchmarks of the iris 406q if you have any questions just hit us in the comment section don't forget to subscribe like and share the video thanks for watching and have a great day